Hi, I'm Jason Stahl, and today I'm going to be talking with Darren Poston, Product Marketing Support Specialist with PPG on OneChoice UV Primer Surfacer. Darren, how did OneChoice UV Primer Surfacer originate? So I think that the need in the marketplace was there to have a little bit more of a larger repair to be able to be done with a UV. And we've had a spray can version for quite some time, and that wasn't fulfilling that need of a, a larger repair. So we actually came up with uh, the new sprayable version um, and, and changed it. It's quite a bit different than our spray can version and, and does a lot more things. Jaron, we know that speed and efficiency is critical today in the collision repair facility. Tell me how the One Choice UV Primer Surfacer answers that call. So Jason, the, the best thing about the UV Primer, it is hands down the fastest primer surfacer that we have. So 30 second flash between coats, and then there's no time to wait before curing. So that's, that's the biggest thing, uh, is that we can go directly to cure, and then they're able to sand on that within two minutes. And so that's probably the, the biggest thing. Darren, we know that UV curing technology is by no means new, but it's made a comeback recently. Talk about how this product works with that technology. Well, I think the, the biggest thing, like we talked about earlier, was the size of the repair. But the biggest thing is some of the new technology and what we're going to call LED based UV curing lights. And a lot of them are rechargeable and handheld. They don't have a cord. You don't have to worry about storing something and you can take that lamp directly to, but, but the intensity also allows you to traverse across the panel. And so then therefore can do a larger repair. Mm -hmm. And so that's probably the biggest thing that we've seen. Wow. So it sounds like the technology has taken a few steps forward. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yep. Darren, does PPG offer a whole system with this product, including UV curing equipment and personal protective equipment? We do provide all the personal protective equipment that you might need, uh, glasses, gloves, anything to protect your skin and your eyes that are the, are the biggest things. Um, on the UV curing uh, lamps and the equipment, we actually, we have tested all, uh, almost all the major brands. So as long as that equipment meets uh, 395 nanometers, um, is the range and where we like to be to, to cure our product properly, then you can use any equipment. Um, some of the newer LED based is, is a lot more uh, user friendly, don't have a cord, but any of the older equipment as well, you can use as long as it meets that nanometer, 395 nanometer range. Darren, why is it so important to wear the proper personal protective equipment when using the UV curing technology? So really the, it's the intensity of the lamps, right? And we need to whether it's older versus new, we still need to protect ourselves. And the big things, of course, of our eyes and any of our skin. And, and we also have everything documented very well on our piece sheets that will cover all the protective equipment that you might need um, and any of the dry times or any of those other informations that, uh, that, that you're looking for. Darren, speaking of the product data sheets, why is it so important to follow those? So technical and um, including marketing has done all that work, right? So the, the end user doesn't have to guess about any of that. They can go to the P sheet, get all the information that they might want and, and or need, right? And so we spend a tremendous amount of time making sure those are very accurate so that the end user doesn't have any problems or any issues. So Darren, the one choice UV primer surfacer comes in a quart can and aerosol, right? Why is this? So I think it's convenience, right? If you're doing a very small job, you, you have that spray can, it's ready to go, you just grab it and spray that on in a, in a small area. And like we talked about earlier, the, the actual regular UV sprayable version, you can do a larger repair with the gun. Mm -hmm. And you said it's spray ready, right? Absolutely. So mechanical shaken for, for a few minutes, and then it is ready to spray right out of the can. So Darren, can you spray this product with just any spray gun? Yeah, absolutely, Jason. The, the biggest thing is we want to make sure our customers know that we recommend a 1.0 to 1.2 size fluid tip. Mm -hmm. And even if a, a larger spray gun like this one, um, all the gun manufacturers have a recommendation typically for UV. Uh, so we found that the mini jets or the smaller style guns actually do a better job with atomization mm -hmm. and able to keep that um, repair smaller. And that's what we prefer. So Darren, walk me through the process with this product. So like we talked about before, Jason, the product is ready to spray. So once you've got it loaded and ready to go, the first coat goes down. There's a 30 second flash uh, followed immediately by the second coat. And after that, then we actually recommend no flash time whatsoever. You can go directly to a two minute cure on whatever lamp that you choose. And then uh, before sanding, there is no need to worry about any kind of wipe or anything. You can go directly to sanding. So again, it's all about the cycle time. So Darren, is there anything else you want to tell us about the One Choice UV Primer Surfacer? 
Yeah, I think um, one of the things we didn't touch on was that it is actually able to be cured in sunlight, and that's different than um, than our other technology that we'd had previously. And um, only requires two coats because it builds so fast. It's almost 75% solids um, in that in that court. So you are able to get very high film build in a short amount of time. Mm -hmm. So you can cure it either with the UV gun or natural sunlight? Absolutely. So, okay. of course, you know, in Cleveland, you're not going to have as much sun as you would somewhere else, right? No, so, that, so, yeah, 10 to 30 minutes, uh, depending on sun intensity mm -hmm. is what we would say. But uh, absolutely can cure outside if you need to. Darren, thank you so much for your time today and all this great information. Where can people go for more information? So you can also visit our website. is ppgrefinish.com. And we appreciate you uh, letting us come in. Thank oh, you very no much. Thanks again. I'm Jason Stahl. Thanks for watching. This video is sponsored by PPG, where our mission is to protect and beautify the world. Visit ppgrefinish.com for more information.